Yeah, he's a great play caller, but also you look at this. They went from 2-10 and 10 to 8-5, and five, and this is all the difference a year makes. I mean, we see it right there on the graphic, but when you look at him, I think the quarterback position starts, right? We thought that Puma Pass might be the guy, but it's Mikhail Cunningham. And Cunningham, um, let's start with his, his, his athleticism, and then we'll get into what else he does in, in terms of Satterfield's offense. Well, he's a great speed and space player, so it starts there. He brings a tremendous amount of athleticism to the position. We can see it right away here. He fakes the dive, feels the linebacker jump inside, but then he just he, he's untouched. He, he's, he goes from zero to 60 real quick, and this will give us a really good look at it. Just watch the D end at the bottom of the screen. Jumps inside. He knows he loses outside leverage. Now watch him break down, and this is when he's most dangerous. He is hard to bring down, especially when he gets into the open field. Yeah, he's incredibly elusive, and I, I love this. And this is a little note on Satterfield. You mentioned from the play call standpoint, right? We get a dive. We get a pass here. This is a package play. There's a pass that he could throw, but they cover that. So what do I do? I tuck it and run, and I find ways to pick up big yardage by myself. And I think that that speaks to what he's able to do. As we watch this play right here, this is another one. I, re I really wanted to put this one on here because this is classic boot action. Classic boot action, a little naked out there. Look at him. Nobody's. And now he's got a choice. I can throw it. I can run. Guess what? You turn into a lead sure. blocker. Now we got some big time plays. And then why also does this work? Well, you got a speedy, fast flowing defense, right? So they are rushing, get to the other side. They see him slanting down hard. He feels that now he's got a two way go. As you indicated, you're putting the defense in conflict because they don't know what you're going to do. If they come off their man here, he's going to fire a dart. But he sees it open. And what I love in the Satterfield office, offense, he spreads you out. He makes you defend the grass. And that's exactly what you have to be able to do. That's what stresses out these defenses. And that's what you get here, right? You got to defend the, the, the grass. And we're going to talk about 2-2 two -two Atwell, obviously. But the reality is I love this play from Cunningham because he sits in there. Look at how spread out that defense is. There's holes all over the place when yeah. you look at that wide view. And when you got someone as fast as that, well, now it's just this opportunity to get him the football. No doubt about it. And why, again, because it's natural spacing. And then, believe me, defenses don't like to play speed guys when there's a lot of space. And that's the bottom line. Look exactly what Atwell does here. That's a good ball. You know, floats it in there. But then you're letting your playmakers make plays. Yeah, and I, I like this one, too. I just want to show that he can't – he's working to push it long. And I think that's going to be a part of his game that we're going to see him continue to expand is his not just being able to push it long, but the accuracy with that long ball. And I see him here willing to stand in the pocket as he pressure comes to his face, but push it long, trust your guys, let them run underneath it and go make a play. Cues are in the house. Oh my gosh. We remember that. Well, this is what they're doing with that offense. They have an explosive, explosive offense. They can hurt you in a number of different ways. And, they're very fun to watch because on any given play, they can take it the distance. And that's what I love about Scott Satterfield, how he runs his offense, is be on a play with the next one in mind. And that just tells you that he's an advanced thought thinker. And I think he's bringing that to the Louisville offense. Yeah, I think he is too. I think, and I'm glad you mentioned that he runs plays with the next play in mind. I think that's really cool, uh, especially like you see it from guys like Ralph Friedgen. We talked about it a week ago with Matt Campbell. Guys who are setting are running a play to set up a play to get to the next play so that they can beat you with their minds and get the job done.